Hey guys, subscribe for daily knife content. And if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. This box was sent by the good, the great, the Nick Shabazz. I'm always excited to see stuff from Nick. And we did talk about this, but I have a terrible memory, right? As per usual. Uh, and, um... He always sends me weird stuff. <laughs> He's always, got, there's always super weird stuff. So I'm always intrigued and kind of terrified to open a box from him. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. You can find my Patreon down in the description. And please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. I'm really sorry for the ugly mark on my thumb. That's uh, like on the iron dumbbells when you're holding them too close to the top and you just, you get all the way through the, um, the set or multiple sets, and then you look down and you realize that you've actually filleted your, that happens, so it's just gonna be something that's there. Ah, good, yes. My very first, believe it or not, my very first time ever, is this the, oh God, I'm pretty sure it's the dragonfly. Very first time literally ever handling one of those, which I know is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, but uh, yeah, that is the case. Then we also have, oh boy. Oh boy, is this the, uh, now, just so you guys understand, like, if you're new to my channel, this is an unboxing, I never get the names exactly right the first time I'm buying, everything that you can actually buy will be linked right down in the description with exactly the right name for it, because I will go back after the video and get it right, is this the police for, is this the police for K390, yeah, so that, that's obviously a ridiculous workhorse of a nice, of a knife, uh, K390 is a beast. I've had it on my um, personal keychain knife, my own uh, ladybug forever. And yeah, it's awesome. Um, it's just not stainless, but I did. I do remember asking for that one. Then we have, I'm going to guess at least two more knives in this pouch here. Three. <laughs> ah, yeah, this was definitely, this was really the one that I was mega interested in taking a look at. And TRM, yeah. Uh, this is the new crazy TRM with the access style. Like I can't remember what the name of it is, but like I said, links and names and all that stuff will be down below. Uh, USA 20 CV. Oh yeah. I, you know, I, I took a look at this and thought that looks like it's got some nice melty ergos. And by melty, I mean like, you know, form for the human hand. And yeah, it's a good looking knife too. Um, I haven't taken a look at any, God, that's smooth. Jeez. Sorry, that caught me off guard. Oh boy. Oh yes. Oh. So I haven't taken a look at anything from TRM uh, or Three Rivers Manufacturing for a while. So this this is a cool opportunity for me, and I'm I'm pretty excited about this. This is nice. Oh wow, wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm losing my train of dialogue here because that one's that's that's crispy. Good. Uh, this one, I just, because of the, <laughs> I liked, I, I actually reviewed the Graham Razzle, like the true Graham Razzle. I mean, not a custom, it was the mid-tech. And then I handled the larger Razzle from CRKT. And this is the little Razzle Cliff, like the little, it's very inexpensive. Uh, and it's a frame lock. And this area up here is actually sharp. So it's kind of like a little sharpened chisel, but I was interested because it's so inexpensive, right? And it's a little steel frame lock flipper. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty much what I expected it to be. This guy's definitely available right now. I think, well, the multiple variants of the Dragonfly and the Police are available, but I don't know if these specific versions are. These three for sure are available in, in one form or another. I'm not sure about this guy because um, he might be a little bit more of a special boy, you know. But anyways, uh, yeah, that'll be definitely, these are all, of course, something we'll look at. And then this one, of course, this super weird one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this that flipped better than I thought. Hang on. Yeah. So I know that that's got the Nick Shabazz treatment to it, right? But it does feel nice. The bona fide with the field. Is that how you do it? And then you just pull it. Wow, that was easy. Holy lasagna. That was really easy. <laughs> um, holy crap. <laughs> it just came right off. I mean, the field strip thing I, I played with that with the god dang okay it's back together it was that easy i mean the, all all i had to go on was it looks like nick's pushing that button down and just pull that was about as easy as it could possibly be 
Man, that is cool. What's the steal on this one? What do we got here? Do we know? I have no idea. I think there are a couple different versions of this, and one of them has a better steel. I don't know what this... I'm going to guess this is aluminum. This is pretty nice. Um, CRKT is doing weird stuff. Like, they don't always hit... I mean, obviously, they're catering to multiple different parts of the knife world, right? There are lots of people out there who like knives and are just like, I'm not into the whole knife enthusiast, right? thing. I just, I see a knife and it looks cool and I want to go for it. And I think, you know, maybe that there's, there's some of that. There's some of the more, you know, kind of outdoorsy people who are, you know, doing stuff. And then there's hybridizations of, you know, that and enthusiasts, right? And every now and then they meet this weird mark, at least with me, right? And I'm, I mean, that's, I guess that's the way with everybody, but that is cool. That's good looking. And the field strip thing is nice and solid. Is it, Boy, it is. It's solid. The action is really, really surprisingly good. The reason I say that is because the last knife I handled with the field strip stuff was the uh, the CRKT home front. And it was all right, but it was running on nylon. It didn't feel like that. I mean, these are, again, this, ha I mean, Nick has probably put 10 weight nano oil in here, but um, that feels good. And everything else that I'm seeing looks nice too. Like the amount of heart, I mean, the amount of hardware is kind of trivial because <laughs> you just get, right? Um, but the look of the pocket clip and um, like the ergos are pretty good. Flipper tabs kind of angled in an, in an odd way. But um, yeah, jimping's in the right place. The blade looks good. I'm really impressed with that. How weird. All right, well, this time around, at least Nick didn't send me anything super intimidating. I'm referring to the Torino, the... Uh, <laughs> The one with the uh, tungsten carbide blade, that was scary. But these are these are all pretty straightforward. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this stuff. Um, so anyways, all of these knives will get individual reviews. Absolutely. You can expect to see that two to three weeks from now for each, each knife. Um, but I think that's going to be pretty much it for today. Where did your sticker go, Nick? There it is. Nick, thank you so much for sending more knives in uh, for review. I really appreciate that, obviously. I don't know why you wouldn't be subscribed to Nick Shabazz, but if you're not, please go check out Nick Shabazz and check out me on Instagram uh, at metal underscore complex. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.